Hello, Mr. Robson. Thanks for inviting uh, Warren North to your home today. Um, obviously, you, co you were contacted by our centre mm -hmm. and you agreed to um, ex take your interest further in Green Deal, and then that's the reason for my visit here today. Can you tell me initially why, why you said yes to the, the, the visit? Sure, I mean, the Green Deal on Warren North that looks like a really good chance to upgrade the property, so I'm keen to find out more. And that, I think that's the general consensus once people start to look deeper into it. Well, the reason that we're here today is, uh, is, is dual purpose. First of all, we need to see what the energy performance of your house is at the moment okay. and how that compares uh, with the typical situation of a house of this type and, and construction and age. The second part of the visit, we want to concentrate on you, how you're using that house sure. and to see if that is a, uh, any differences between your use of the property and the typical use of the property that's assumed in the energy performance certificate. Okay. So you will end up with two pieces of paper at the end of the day. One will be the copy of the EPC and you'll be able to see the energy rating of the property and its potential to improve. Okay. And secondly, you'll see how your use of the property impacts on that and whether or not we can actually recommend some measures for you that will be um, applicable for Green Deal. As part of my visit today then, I'm going to split that into two. Okay. The first part is to produce an energy performance certificate on the right. house to see how that is rated uh, against other properties of the same type in okay. a typical situation. Sure. It'll always give us an, an indication of the running costs for the house together with the potential for savings by introducing some improvement measures. The second part, once we produce the EPC, will be to see how you actually use the house. Right, okay. yeah. So then we'll be looking at uh, your occupancy um, variables, how the family run, what your use of the property right. is, and your fuel bills. Okay. From that, we'll be able to do a comparison between what the typical situation was on the EPC and what your actual situation is. Right. And we'll see then if the same measures will be still uh, attributable to, to Green, to green Deal. We'll also be at that particular point be able to give you the option to, to look at those measures and see which you prefer. Right, okay. Well, we've got the first part over with Mr. Robson, Fantastic. and we managed to produce the EPC for you. And you can see that a rating of 28, that's the standard assessment uh, procedure figure, okay. means that it's quite low. Mm -hmm. To be expected on this age and construction of property, mm -hmm. and with the heating system that you've got in, yeah. but nevertheless quite low in band F. We do, however, have the opportunity to improve that quite significantly to band, band C. Great. We can we can do that by suggesting various improvement measures for you to consider and maybe introduce. The uh, main ones that we want to consider, and which will be green dealable, mm -hmm. i.e., they will qualify under the golden rule. The downside slightly for you is that if you wanted to go ahead with the solid wall insulation mm -hmm. that will involve a customer contribution. Okay. At this particular moment I haven't got that figure available for you but you can see the figures for the other two items there mm -hmm. which will obviously appear as items on for the Green Deal plan on your electricity bill. Right. So whether you pay by direct debit monthly or quarterly that will be shown as a separate item on your right. bill okay. as a, a direct repayment and the same will apply to the solid wall insulation if you go ahead mm -hmm. but you'll get a separate um, uh, invoice for your client contribution towards right. that if that's what you want to do. What we'll need to do to compare these figures now and maybe just dig, dig down deeper into the figures is to do an occupancy assessment okay. to find out how you and your family are actually using the property. Sure. And what we might find as a result of that that some of these measures that didn't quite make the golden rule calculation might do by the, um, your occupancy assessment okay. and the way you're using the housing. Would you be happy for us to do that? Definitely. Great. Well, let's start it off then by saying, um, how many people actually occupy the house? There's four of us. There's four of you in there. Great. And are you all of you there for more than 50% of the year? We are, yes. That's good. Let's put that in as well then. And then we can move on to the, this next section here. What we'll do now is put you in touch with your personal customer manager. Okay. Uh, I've prepared a EPC report together with your occupancy assessment and some of the terms and conditions that are there 
then very shortly your PCM, your personal customer manager that is, will be in touch with you with regards to formalising the plan okay. and getting you to actually agree to, uh, to take that on board. Fantastic. They'll organise the technical surveys and also the installer for each of those measures. Okay. There is a possibility that you will get other and different installers for each of the measures. Right. So don't expect the same installer to do all of the measures. Oh, that right. might not happen there. That's right. But if you'd like to uh, just say that you're happy with that, just by signing this, this report here, yeah. that will finish the, the day off for today.